What do you say about Les McDonald? Wow. Legend. Icon. Mentor. Uh, my life, uh, I'm the man I am today. Uh, and the things that I've done, Les had a big part of it. Possibility that this event will be in Olympic in the future? Well, we don't have a crystal ball. We're not clairvoyant. Um, there's enough information and enough support for us, I believe, which comes from the sport itself because it's such an exciting, charismatic sport. Yes, I'm confident it will be. Yeah. I am very pleased to have a triathlon in, uh, for the first time in the Olympics in Sydney in the year 2000 because I think it's a great sport. It's also is a fast-growing sport. He's <laughs> funny. No, he's one and two in summer. Oh, yeah, you know, a triathlon thing, yeah. It should be in the Olympic Games. I said, it should be in the Olympics. That's a good idea. <laughs> Many times I, I was thinking that he was using uh, the, the, the fear huh? <laughs> of being out of the Olympic Games. And I thought, ah, it's too much huh? what he is telling. But I realized that it was not too much. And it's not too much even now when we are uh, so solid in the in the program but i think uh, the the feeling of being not concerned but alert i used to say is something that i get from les mcdonald um, les mcdonald was one of those uh, planets that lined up in the very beginning you know he was he was very driven. Um, he was also very strong and forceful. He'd had a, a background with, with unions. He knew politics. He understood how to organize. He understood how to put a slate together and how to, to combine people with, with like um, viewpoints and, and ambitions and goals. And So I think he was definitely the person at the time. L Les McDonald is absolutely unique. A man who had a vision and who pursued it absolutely, almost, to the exclusion of anything else. He was a wonderful educator. So you have to know your own history. So today we were doing a little walk around, <coughs> trivial pursuit, testing. There was the Acropolis with a big flag on it. It was the Austrians who blew half of the wall down, but so did the Turks. And I really don't know quite where he got it from because he'd been born in the northeast of England. Uh, he was a Geordie. It's a song about coal mining because my grandmother worked in the coal mine. Keep your feet still jolly and we will be happy through the need. Oh, we may not be so happy through the day. Will you give us a bit comfort? Keep your feet still, Johnny lad. I'm <laughs> down drive my body green. This guy was involved in skiing beforehand and left Great Britain in 1956 and went to Vancouver. spot people who he could bring onto his side and who he could see were going to be wonderful advocates for the sport and he trained them, he educated them, he briefed them and he spent a lot of time in growing the intellectual capital that turned out to be the people who led the sport of triathlon. And the way that ITU was started was because of Liz you know, and those instrumental people he put around him and his ability to be able to coordinate his conversation with the IOC to get to where we are today. Now we have a different form of governance because he's laid the foundation and the legacy of his leadership is now transferred across to, to Marisol and what she's doing for the sport now. And the same will follow on. But since the very beginning, uh, he called me Passionaria. And I think uh, not everyone is going to understand what that means, but it's just, just the relation with a very strong woman eh, in history. It was um, to be the first, I think, uh, sport leader who really applied gender equity inside an international federation. I think it's an example that uh, everyone we should follow in for the future, and he did that uh, 15, 20 years ago when, when no one was thinking on these kind of things. 
he founded the triathlon as an organized sport and he put triathlon in the Olympics and that has yeah. made us have the ITU and all these elite races and the series and everything. Les was uh, very particular. He was, he was able to, to really fast understand the profile of the athletes that could be successful. And he told me, you know, Sergio, uh, you are pretty new in the sport and Vanessa, and you need to know one thing. If you want to be successful for many years, you need to know who is zoo in the zoo. Mr. McDonald left behind an incredible legacy and created an awesome sport. His work is done here now, and it's up to us to continue that legacy. I know I will miss him immensely, and I'm sure that everybody in the ITU family feels the same right now. If you know the history of triathlon, you know how connected it is with Les McDonald, and so uh, I think he's really one of the founder of uh, and the soul of this sport. Thank you, Les, for this opportunity for me, my family, and my city. 22 years of history with ITU. 22 years of hosting World Cups, World Championships, of working for ITU and now heading into the 2020 Grand Final in Edmonton. You know, he was a larger than life character. He had an absolute tunnel vision as far as what he wanted to achieve as an outcome for this sport. And uh, I don't think anyone else could have achieved what he did in such a short period of time. So five Olympic Games, 25 plus World Championships, the things that I got a chance to see, the incredible athletes, and you think of the McKillie Jones, the Simon Lessings, the Simon Whitfields, the Bevan Doherty's, all of those guys, their lives have been changed because one old stubborn man refused with no funds to say no to a sport that couldn't go to the Olympic Games. And so for me, my life and many, many people who have been a part of my life have been changed incredibly by one guy's perseverance, stubbornness, all of them legitimate. He was a complicated man. Well, this is the normal way. Where's the signs? No, they put they put signs on the wall. Okay. We gotta go that way. Okay, you go that way. I'll see you tomorrow. That's not the way. You go that way. I'll see you later. Les McDonald was the right man at the right time because so much of it was the stubbornness to just say this is going to happen. But he made a change and a difference in the world and so few people can actually say when life ended they made a difference. Les McDonald made a difference. It was, uh, it is, a, it's a privilege. It's an honor to have uh, had Les McDonald in my life. I'm grateful to know you sir. You're an absolute legend. When life